Hi, Ruth. How you doing? I'm good. How are you, Jennifer? Hey, it's great. That's good. I'm really excited to have this conversation with you today about what we're doing, social business and video 2.0. Totally excited. Um, mm -hmm. You know, it's so funny. We had a, um, I got an email today just on this topic. It was so amazing. Um, uh -huh. a, a, a client, um, a salon owner, uh -huh. uh, has, it's prom season, right? So mm -hmm. I had actually gone in to get my hair cut. Very talented uh Cutter, very talented client. It looks great, by the way. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yes, <laughs> you know, video 2.0 is all about looking good, too. <laughs> huh? um, but I went in to get my hair cut, and um, he was asking me about how he could use video, and, and, and he had a Facebook page. So I told him, of course, one thing that he could do would be to set up his camera and just capture energy around the girls that were in to get their makeup and their hair done around prom season. But what I also did was... I knew he had a Facebook page. After the cut, I, I did a quick video testimonial. And I said, you know, loving my new hair, so glad uh, that this client is back doing this kind of work. And mm -hmm. that if you want to get gorgeous for prom, you know, you've got to come in here. And he broadcast it through all of his staff Facebook pages. I love it. 22 bookings as a result. Oh, my gosh. Just got that email today, so... And within and within a pretty quick time. Yeah, you know, within the last yeah, within the last two weeks. Oh my gosh! So, yeah, that's great. You know, it was just and you, you you never know what the result is. I thought, oh, you know, if he gets five, I'll, right, I'll be really right. happy. And then he emailed me this morning, twenty two. That is great. That's yeah. great. You know, I think it's I think this is our our mission to really help people that hadn't traditionally thought about using video with their social media mix to really showcase their business to the world out there and yeah. to attract people to their business, particularly something like that that's so visual. Absolutely. And you know, I think a lot of people have a hard time maybe um envisioning for lack of a better word how they can make what they do visual. One of the things that you talked about recently, and um, we actually had this conversation, was about uh, how would a, a lawyer or an attorney or, um, or, or an, uh, an accountant, somebody with a more traditional, more conservative type of business, mm -hmm. um, use video and use social business to uh, help with their branding and their outreach, their client outreach. And you mentioned this concept of tearing down walls. So I'd love it if you would elaborate on that. Yeah, you know, I wish I could take claim to that idea. I actually just got the idea from watching what the, what the big guys do. For example, the Facebook. Facebook has a channel on YouTube where they tear down the walls of Facebook because as you may or may not know, you can't get through to Facebook, for those billions that use it. You can't call anyone. You don't, you don't see the building that often. You don't see the people. But what they do do on their YouTube channel is they tear down the walls and they allow their employees and management staff to share with the world what's going on, what they're working on in a very informal setting and it keeps their users up to date. So some online professional services like an attorney or even financial planning, they can let the people see them, their personality, the, the feel within their office place, let them you know, do a walkthrough of how, what a person would experience coming into their office, what it looks like. And that's why people want to feel comfortable doing business with people that they don't know. Yeah, I think that that's a great idea. It gives people, you know, it's about that letting people in, uh, yes. which is very much a part of the whole social business um, effort, really, letting uh -huh. people in a little bit. You don't have to let them in entirely. I think people are scared about that. Uh -huh. didn't, we, didn't we hear a lot about that uh, when we were at a conference recently about, you know, people didn't want to let others in too much? Well, uh -huh. What do you say to that? No, I say that, but I say gone are the days of the elusive CEO. I mean, I remember when I was in corporate, you know, to get upstairs on that ninth and 10th floor, you had to be very, very special. But nowadays, it's, you know, let's open those doors, come on in, and, you know, what do you have to hide? You're in business, and you want to, in order to do business, you have to be able to relate to people. So I tell them, you know, don't be afraid of it. Keep it 80% business. You know, if you, if you want to throw in a little personal tidbit, that's fine as well. Um, but people want to see behind the logo, behind the walls of your doors. They want to get to know you. No question about it. You know, another question that um, you know has come in um, that that we get a lot of, I think, has to do with whether it's too late. You know, mm -hmm. it, 
it, it seems like there are so many millions of people already using social media. There mm -hmm. are already, uh, you know, there are two billion YouTube views per day. People get intimidated. Uh, they think maybe it's just too late for them that, uh, you know, I, I, it's too late and I'm not, if I start now, it's, I'm not going to get anything out of it. Some people think? feel that they're too old. Yes. Yes. That's my favorite. <laughs> that's I'm, I'm too late. I'm too old. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't like seeing myself on camera. I'm not comfortable in talking about myself in that type of way. <laughs> yeah, we hear these over and over again. Yeah, so what do we say to that? G-O-I. <laughs> Get over it. <laughs> Get over it. Okay, so you mentioned um, that people hate seeing themselves on video. And, of course, as everyone who knows me knows, I say <laughs> get over it because it's universal. Yeah. Uh, that even even my my famous celebrity clients hate seeing themselves on video. It's um, you know there, there's there's a reason for that. The fact is that when we look at ourselves in a mirror, we've been doing that for since the day we were, we were born, and our eye and our brain, quite frankly, have learned to correct for the asymmetry and the flaws of our face. And and we are flawed, you know. I mean, <laughs> when I see myself on video, I see all of the flaws. I home right in on them. But. Um, <laughs> We all do for ourselves. We yeah, all do. Absolutely. So, you know, your eye or our own eye are the most critical eyes. Um, and, but, but you get used to it. You get over it just like you got over hearing the sound of your voice. And, uh, yes. of course, you can't get over it unless you do it. So that's... Uh, yeah. yeah. And that really helped me because I couldn't stand hearing my voice there for a while. But I'm used to it now. I got over it. <laughs> got over it. Exactly. Yeah, so um, tell me more about, uh, well, you know what, let's talk about the master class for a moment. Yeah, let's do that. And how much time do we want to spend today? I uh, think, you know, just another minute or two. Yeah, Maybe, okay, you great. know, we'll talk about the master class, and then I've got one more, um, you know, one more question or tip that, that we should give uh, great, out great. there. And then we can come back and do this again, which I'd love to do. Yeah, I think we should do these video chats, video Coffee chats, whatever yep. you want to call them, video and, chats. And, and here's, a, here's, a here's a tip right now. I mean, you, anybody can do what we're doing. Anybody yeah. can do what we're doing. We're using Skype. We're using an add-on called Call Recorder, which is a very inexpensive, like, I don't know, 20 bucks or something that you can buy. Mm -hmm. And um, we are video uh, taping it. We're videoing it, recording it on a side-by-side -side option. It's kind of cool. Very cool, and almost any industry can do this. And boy, what what great information they'd be able to share with the world out there about their business and about their expertise. No question, no question. And this is something we're not seeing people doing, and this is one of the things we'll be teaching in our master class. Absolutely. You know, another thing that we're going to be teaching in the master class, which is by the way on June twentieth, mm -hmm. and um, we've got some great registration already, and we're we're looking for a few more, a few a few good people, um, yep. but. Um, uh, one of the things that came up, we, um, I had posted on Facebook, or I'm going to be posting on Facebook, a tip every day, a video 2.0 tip, and I've already done two of them. And we got a response from one of our mutual clients uh, who said, who wanted to know how I was able to include further information on that. So, uh -huh. right, she had noticed that beyond the video, there, was, there were further links. There was a link to my website. And mm -hmm. there was also a link to the master class. Yes. And this is something that we will be teaching uh, in the master class, but this is all done through YouTube. YouTube is an extraordinarily functional site. It's mm -hmm. meant to help you get found and get seen. And this is one of the techniques that I've learned that I'll be teaching others. So yeah, I'm amazed at how many people don't know about that. So many people don't know how to put type on their videos to link to their websites and that there's so much power in that. So I'm excited to be able to for us to be able to show people that in the master class. Absolutely. And YouTube has added so much functionality that you almost don't need any additional software. For example, I use a, 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 a an editing program that comes on my computer, my Mac. It's called iMovie. Very easy. But mm -hmm. but if I didn't have that I would know that YouTube also has an editing program that is, it's basic, but it's functional. It'll do what you need. So, you And GID gets it done? Get that done. <laughs> Get it done. Yes, that's another one. GID. Yeah. <laughs> um, but anyway, just a little more about the masterclass. On the 20th of June, all day long, very limited participation because we want to give lots of personal attention. Uh, mm -hmm. In New York City, in a lovely midtown location, so easy to get to from anywhere. Uh, and I think just the networking alone is going to be worth 
worth attending, but that's as an aside. Obviously, we'll be giving great content. Great content, uh, starting early, ending, um, you know, where it's a full day, and uh, we're, all meals are covered. You don't have to leave the premises. <laughs> We've we got you for the full day. And, um, you know. And a surprise guest. We'll have a surprise guest yep, that will be joining, a yep. celebrity entrepreneur, which will be yep, great. Yep, very cool, very exciting. Can't wait to tell can't who wait, it is. Can't wait to tell either. Um, so, what is, um, what, I guess, where, where can they go? They can go to the website if they're interested mm -hmm. in learning more, and that would be nycmasterclass2011.com. Right. Mm -hmm. So that's uh, nycmasterclass2011.com, and we'll put that in the in the note here as well. But uh, mm -hmm. the idea that um, they have any, if they have any questions, you know, we're talking to people. People are calling with questions, and please do. Please yes, do. please give us a call. Yep. Um, I mean, I'm at 571-223-3887. I will be here for you. And you can also drop me an email at jea at thesaleslounge.com. Good. And I'm at 203-698-2512. And my email address is ruth at ruthsherman.com. Mm -hmm. So, uh, what do we? How do we want to end here? Well, I would like to end with my definition of social business, oh, which great. is starting to be coined by some of the thought leaders around the country, which I'm very excited about. My first definition, and I'd like to share it with all of you. And uh, just to make sure I'm not leaving anything out, I'm gonna read. So we're gonna see my eyes glance right over here for a okay, second. Cool. So I want to make sure I get it right. Social business, which again is what this is the first time I'm teaching this up in New York City. Social business is the utiliz utilization of social media sites like LinkedIn, YouTube, Facebook, um, Twitter to strategize, to network, to acknowledge, and power play with key influencers around the world to help advance your business and brand forward. Wow. Okay. So, I mean, how cool is that? That is totally cool. And yeah. I love the way that sounds. Thank you. And um, I'm really excited uh, to uh, to move forward. So this is, anyway, this is the first in what I hope will be a series. Uh, if anybody wants to know how we did it, yeah. give us a call or come to our class. We're going to teach this. Yeah, looking forward to seeing everyone. And again, we're demonstrating today what you could be doing in your business as well. And this is just one of the many tips that we'll be sharing. Okay, cool. All right, so I will talk to you soon. All right? Great. All right, have a great day. Okay, right. take care. Bye, Bye. everyone. Bye.